Well, hello, you viewers. My name later. How are we doing today? All right. Today is a really, really strange one. That's right. We've got something really, really cool by the Williamson Copenhagen guys. Their tactical red E. <sighs> and that's this guy right here. All right. Now, <laughs> this is going to be a strange review, so bear with me, all right? I got this in a battle box somewhere back, I don't know, around March 2022, I believe, because that's when I took the picture from Battlebox's um, online store about all the stats and everything. I seriously think I got this one in that same one where I got the, um, the gas mask, not the horrible Polish NBC mask from a long time ago, but the newer one that they just did. Now, for some reason, I, I failed to review it till now. The box has been sitting in the pile of shame, and I went, oh, poopy, I need to get this done because this is a beautiful blade. It's been part of my carry for a while. Haven't had to use it much. It seems like the days I carry this thing, I don't have a lot of cutting to do. But I want to show you what came inside the box because I think they really hook things up with, you know, Williamson Copenhagen. Okay, I like that. We're going to get into that in just a moment. All right. There's all their fun stuff, you know, made in, Den oh, I should say, they're based out of Denmark, but made in the People's Republic of China. All right, uh, come here. There's where the box opens. I like the little magnet things they have. Okay. That is really cool. They give you that PVC Velcro patch. Your limited lifetime warranty. And they give you a replacement clip if you don't like the Red E. You can just get in there with the little torque bit and get it out. Okay, so we're going to put you to the side. Now, <laughs> like I said, I couldn't find much info about this guy online. I did somehow find it on Amazon, but I couldn't find it on the Williamson Copenhagen web store. So I'm wondering if this particular one was an exclusive for BattleBox subscribers only. I believe they have done that once before with another blade that I brought to the channel. But still, let's get into the stats and the fun like we usually do. Now, it's got an overall length of about 6.7 inches. The blade's about 2.7. Enclosed, it's flat four. Now, I had to do the grams to ounces conversion chart. Man, it sounds like a drug deal kind of thing, doesn't it? Ooh, hope I didn't get, just didn't get demonetized for that. It's about 7.51 ounces. You're going to know this is in your pocket for a slight, small, compact blade. Now, it's got a plain edge. To me, it's kind of done like in a drop point style, but I'm sure someone's going to tell me it's a little different, and that's okay. It does have the axis lock, which I like. Yeah, it just got to play with it a little more. Okay. It does have textured G10 scales on both sides, which I really love. I mean, seriously, it's really grippy, really feels good in your hand. I do like the like little thumb, how should I say, finger groove that's cut out there. It just fits beautifully in there. You do have a reversible deep pocket clip. It's really, really deep, so I'm glad I attached, you know, the lanyard to the lanyard hole. I don't know. Uh, it just... Can't even really tell if there's like a skeletonized steel frame in there and whatnot, but still. And no, I have yet to disassemble it. Now, like I said, their headquarters is in Denmark, and it's produced in the People's Republic of China. So that's the best I can give you, and I do want to mention, I do like this forward jimping on the thumb. It gives you great up-close control, and it's just nice and freaking beautiful how they do it. I mean, I wouldn't really suggest a finger there, because if you slip and go, you're on the blade. So keep everything back and use the thumb. Just me. All right, so let's get to some cut tests on this guy. Now, why do we do these three cut tests? Well, look right up there. There's a card for why I do these cut tests. Now, something we've been doing recently, I know I haven't done knife review in a while, but we still got to keep it going. The eight ball for Bill Rivers. That's right, Bill. I'm holding your balls. <laughs> oh, magic eight ball. Will this be a painless cut test where Bill Rivers can't laugh at me? Seriously, this happened in the very last video that I did. All right. Oh, concentrate harder. Oh, concentrate harder. Oh, Magic 8 Ball. Same question. <laughs> very doubtful. Okay. We're going to put that to the test. As usual, we start with 
Heavy duty stock paper. Yeah, my fault for not going all that way. Yeah, I just said it. I didn't go all the way. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's see if we can get a curly cue. Well, it started to. As you can see right up there, it started to. Okay, the reason why I like to try to get curly cues is anyone can come across and go, sharp. But when you draw that blade across that paper and you keep, oh, oh yeah, right there in the beginning. And you keep that same angle, things like that should happen. It should curl back in and onto itself. That's going to show you there's no pitch, chips, micro abrasions, any of that great stuff. Eh, we did get a little snowfall. Just a little. All right, uh, Bill. You know how much I hate the River's Revenge, right? Every single cut test you seem to screw with me. Every single one. Paracord. All right, Bill. <sighs> nice and clean, too. Whoo, doggy. All right, let's do a slice. Whoo, nice and clean. And the star of the show, the man of the hour, the tower of power, Mr. Ratchet Strap. I swear, one day I'm going to get an injunction to quit cutting up the boy. But still, until that day. <laughs> nice and clean. Wow. I think that's the cleanest one I've ever gotten on a ratchet strap. All right, take a look at the blade like we usually do. Yeah, no real... Yeah. A little bit of snowfall. You can see right there. Uh-oh. Huh. That's weird. At least where I'm looking at it, it looks like maybe... I don't know, I'm going to have to go back over that. I'm curious, because, like, there's this one little... Okay, well, it's not snagging. All right, anywho, I'll take a look at that later. I'll update in the description box. I wonder if there was a chip or something. Because it just looks like nothing. Right there. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Didn't they say? Oh, yeah, sorry. D2 steel. All right, I forgot to mention that. But all right, so now we're at the best part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. I also want to know, do you think this one is a noise or an F-bomb? Uh, noise or an F-bomb? Try to stifle that burp, hopefully. Ooh, and a hiccup. Hopefully that one didn't come across. All right, like I said earlier, I do like this blade. I have carried it. Um... It's just, it's a good feel. It's a good quality blade. I don't know. I I hate the fact that I can't find much more on it. But, like I said, it's been around for a while, so I don't know if it was a limited, exclusive run. Knowing my luck, it probably was, but still. Okay, so, with all that fun stuff being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Seriously, it means the world to me that you're taking time out of your day to view this video. I, I love the fact you're giving me some of your most precious commodity, your time, and I hope I've earned more of it for the future. So with that, all that being done, I want to thank you guys for watching this one yet again. I hope you're having a great day today, a safe day today, and I look forward to seeing all of you in our very next video.